Welcome to the world of the iconic television series that captured the hearts of audiences through its blend of humor, drama, and insightful commentary on war. Amidst the chaotic backdrop of the Korean War, MASH emerged as a beacon of wit and poignant storytelling. Amidst the unforgettable ensemble cast, one classic Hollywood actor stood out for many viewers. Who was your favorite? Beyond its on-screen charm, fascinating anecdotes and lesser-known facts swirl around this series. From the show's beginnings as a film adaptation to the evolution of its characters, there's much that intrigues fans. What hidden gems about the series pique your interest? Do you have a cherished memory tied to this beloved show? Perhaps a special episode that left an indelible mark or a personal connection that made the series resonate with you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're eager to hear about your experiences. Set against the backdrop of the Korean War, MASH emerged in the 70s as a groundbreaking television series, adapting the 1970 film to the small screen. The show centered on the personnel of the 4077th Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, blending humor, drama, and social commentary. Led by the irreverent and wisecracking Hawkeye Pierce, portrayed by Alan Alda, the ensemble cast navigated the chaos of war with wit and humanity. The series delved deep into the lives of its characters, including the by-the-book Frank Burns, the nurturing Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan, and the cross-dressing Corporal Max Klinger, among others, showcasing their personal struggles amid the turmoil of conflict. MASH was renowned for its innovative storytelling, seamlessly blending humor with poignant moments and tackling serious themes such as the trauma of war, morality, and the human cost of conflict. Its finale remains one of the most watched television events, solidifying its legacy and influence on subsequent shows, setting a benchmark for the dreamy genre and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture as a poignant, humorous, and socially aware series that transcended its wartime setting to become a timeless classic, resonating with audiences across generations. In the world of the 1972 TV series set in wartime Korea, the characters' backgrounds had a habit of shifting. Hawkeye Pierce at times hinted at family ties, but later claimed to be an only child. Such discrepancies peppered the show, adding layers to the characters, but occasionally creating inconsistencies. Meanwhile, off-screen, the cast formed their own tight-knit unit, akin to the familial bonds portrayed on the show. The Fox Ranch's remote location fostered this camaraderie among the actors, mirroring the closeness viewers saw in the 4077. As for departures, each main character who returned stateside had a distinct reason. Henry Blake's fate was tragically sealed by a down plane, Frank Burns faced a breakdown, Radar O'Reilly received a hardship discharge, and only Trapper John's return lacked a specific trigger. These nuances in character backgrounds and the actors' off-screen connections contributed depth to the series, fostering both on-screen chemistry and the intricacies of their wartime personas. In the 1972 series, the cast ditched army boots on set due to noise and discomfort, mostly rocking sneakers. Winchester's habit of using last names, but calling Klinger Max reflected a patronizing tone. He also called Margaret Margaret, blending respect and superiority. William Christopher initially flubbed his father Mulcahy audition, but got another shot later on. These quirks behind the scenes added depth to the on-screen dynamics, showing the cast choices and dynamics in a different light, enriching the series' portrayal of relationships and characters. The 1972 TV series initially struggled with low ratings in its first season, but it eventually soared to become a top-rated show by its 11th and final season. Interestingly, Major Margaret Houlihan and Corporal Maxwell Q. Klinger, characters at the 4077th, both married and divorced during their service, sharing the same wedding dress in the process. When the show was being produced, there was a clash over the use of a laugh track, leading to a compromise for a chuckle track, sparingly employed, and notably absent during surgical tent scenes. Syndication versions omitted this track entirely, preserving the show's tonal integrity. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and character arcs underscore the evolution and creative decisions within the series, influencing its trajectory from a struggling debut to a highly acclaimed conclusion. The personal lives of characters intertwined with the production choices, shaping the unique blend of humor, drama, and authenticity that defined the show, ultimately leaving an indelible mark on television history. Gary Berghoff, known for his role as Radar O'Reilly, was the first actor cast in the 1972 series. He joined the show as one of the two actors to reprise a role from the original movie. While G. 
would play General Hammond in both. Timothy Brown appeared in both movie and series, but in different roles. Brown portrayed Captain Oliver Harmon Spearchucker Jones in the show for six episodes. This difference in character portrayals between the movie and series highlights the varied adaptations within the MASH universe, offering distinct character dynamics and evolving storylines. William Christopher, who portrayed Father Mulcahy, faced a near-fatal bout of hepatitis in the fifth season. This almost led to his departure from the show, but Alan Alda intervened. Alda, aware of Christopher's need for stable work to support his autistic son, advocated to keep him. In a remarkable move, Alda crafted an episode incorporating Christopher's real-life illness into Mulcahy's storyline, swaying producers to retain him on the series. This incident sheds light on the compassionate camaraderie among the cast, where support extended beyond the screen, solidifying the show's bond and commitment to its ensemble. This thoughtful gesture not only secured a beloved character, but also underscored the human side behind the scenes, illustrating the deep connections within the 4077 THS cast and crew, emphasizing their dedication to one another and the show's integrity. Colonel Potter's horse, Sophie, added an interesting quirk to the show. In different episodes, several horses played the part of Sophie, a mare, despite being played by male horses sometimes. It's a fun behind-the-scenes fact that might have gone unnoticed during the series. Interestingly, when Colonel Potter took command in the fourth season, the show's timeline condensed significantly. The first three seasons covered 15 months of the war, while the following eight seasons crammed into the remaining 10 months. It's a tight storytelling twist that might surprise viewers. Moreover, the show's popularity soared in India when it aired in the 90s with the introduction of cable TV. It became a staple on weekday evenings, drawing in audiences throughout all its seasons. These intriguing tidbits add depth to the series, showcasing its nuances on and off the screen. As the curtains draw to a close, it's time to pause and reminisce about the captivating stories woven within a particular series that echoes through time. You might find yourself transported back to the captivating narratives of a mobile surgical hospital during the Korean War. The 1972 TV series, known for its blend of humor, humanity, and poignant moments, holds a unique place in the hearts of many. Perhaps it's the camaraderie among the characters that struck a chord, or maybe it's the subtle yet powerful messages it conveyed about the complexities of war and the resilience of the human spirit. Whether it's the iconic Hawkeye Pierce, the irreverent humor, or the moments that tugged at your heartstrings, MASH continues to resonate, evoking personal connections that endure. Your journey with this series might have sparked laughter, provoked contemplation, or evoked a spectrum of emotions. So, let's embrace this moment to share those cherished memories or profound reflections. What made MASH special for you? Was it the unwavering bonds forged amidst chaos or the underlying humanity that transcended the turmoil of war? Your thoughts, anecdotes, or musings are threads in the rich tapestry of collective memories tied to this timeless series. So, take a moment to unravel and share your experiences, allowing this cherished tale to live on through our collective recollections. Thank you for joining this retrospective journey. Your presence and contribution enrich the tapestry of MASH's legacy.